the game. If you're 17, 18, 19, this video is meant for you. Watch this video. I'm 23 years old, and I'm going to be telling you guys what I wish I did back in the day when I was that age. I'm acting like I'm way older than that. I'm really not. But honestly, guys, anyone that's 17, 18, 19, you should really be focusing on what you want to do. Not as in, oh, my, my overall goal in life is to be this or be that. But you really got to work on your skills and your craft. Because when I was that age, I was not doing anything like that. When I was that age, I was literally just inside all day gaming and sleeping till five in the morning playing video games like really 18 hours a day i wasn't really working out like that although i did start when i was like 17 18 i really started but besides gym that's all i did that's literally all i did i didn't learn anything new i didn't try to find a new hobby i didn't try to do anything literally all i did was play games for the most part and do i regret that Try not to regret anything, but if I would go back in time, would I change how I looked at it? Yeah, hindsight 2020, of course. But to be honest, when you're that age, I'm not saying you just got to spend your whole life working and, and just getting on your grind. But if you really find something that you enjoy doing and you know that you can make a career out of it, then you need to do that when you're that age. You need to go hard on whatever you're doing. As long as you find joy and fulfillment of it and know that you can make this a source of income and you actually enjoy doing it i suggest you stop playing games and really go full on out because if i at the time i really started youtube too at that time but i also like I said i had no schedule i had no system i really was playing so much games i didn't really prioritize my time my time wisely at all during that time so i had a youtube channel that I was off and on barely working on super inconsistent you know what i mean because I was so focused on the games, literally. That was literally my main thing, was just games, 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 games. That's all I cared about. That's all I did. I didn't really interact with people. I had a girlfriend at the time, so I interacted with them, with her. But it was just like, I didn't really live any experiences, right? I didn't really have real experiences besides being in the house. You know what I mean? Like playing games. Like, those are cool, I guess, but you're not enjoying your life. Your life isn't meant for you to be stuck on a screen all day and living vicariously through online world bro you're actually supposed to go out there and experience life and even if i wasn't working on everything i did or even if i wasn't working on what i wanted to do or you know what i mean my passion and goal if i had more life experience at that time going out actually doing things in the real world even that would be better than just staying cooped up inside playing video games it's way better because at least when you're out doing things with people and actually getting experiences you're able to you actually learn things you are living your life you're actually living outside and experiencing things around you not being cooped up in the house all day online you know what i mean that's a good experience to have so anyone who's that age i highly suggest you you, you just start having an inclination an idea of what you like doing what are your hobbies what do you really enjoy what do you think you can monetize because nowadays you can monetize anything make videos on YouTube. I don't get paid a whole lot yet, but I get paid from it. I work out. I love, enjoy working out. I love being fit. I love helping people get in shape. I make money from that. You know what I mean? Had I started this earlier, had I really thought about this sooner, I would have been making more money. I would have been already way ahead of the game. Now, things don't happen the way, this is all hindsight stuff, but if you stumble across this video, and say, for example, you like freaking whatever you like to do, man, skateboarding, even working out, whatever. I'm going to just use the gym because that's the easy example. If you're a kid right now, you're working out, you see all these videos and self-improvement, all these things, you already are on a good step. Now, what you have to do is just take action, guys, because you can get caught up with watching all these videos and watching the best self-improvement and watching this and watching that. But at the end of the day, you have to take action. What is taking action is actually implementing what the video tell you the videos tell you what to do, right? If the video says you should sleep early, have a schedule, plan out your days, don't just watch it and then be like, yeah, that's really good. Actually do that because then you'll start seeing the success and then you're not gonna need to watch these videos. You're not gonna need to basically jerk your mind off with these self-improvement videos thinking that you're doing something when in reality, you're really not doing anything. You're just as bad as the guy playing video games all day if you sit there watching these self-improvement videos all day. So the point is to find what you like it doesn't even have to be what you like, but find something that can make money off of you. You can see a future in it in that moment and then really pursue it, right? Because 
it's crazy guys there's really people out here that are 16 17 18 19 20 year olds that are really killing this because they they actually implemented the the things that these videos have told them to do hey start that try that schedule your days like this work on this like this work and these people are making money they're actually developing their life they're learning all these things at a super young age because when you're at that age and even now i'm still young guys i'm not old at all but i'm just saying when especially when you're like 17 18 19 you're really able to do anything and even now i'm able to do whatever i want but you get the point the point is what i'm saying you guys have you're you're in a perfect time you're fresh out of high school or you're just about to end high school really when you're in school bro you don't have to worry about a job you don't have to be worrying about paying rent unless you're in a horrible financial situation you get what i'm saying but the i'm just talking about person that just goes to school and doesn't have to be worrying about those crazy bills right now or anything like that this is your time bro this is really your time to find that niche find that whatever and go hard and start learn start figuring out how you're gonna make money off of it guys there's so many ways to make money online literally start your channel oh i don't want to make a channel I'll start a vlog something do something guys because there's so many ways to make money and it is really insane i'm telling you online everything you can make money and fail you have to fail even now guys i've been failing i've been you know what i mean trial and error like i said i'm only 23 i'm not old at all but I'm older than someone that's 17, 18, 19. You know what I mean? I have way more years than them currently. So it's like, if they get this, if you guys understand this from that age, you'll be able to kill. You'll be killing it when you're 23. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you're not going to go trust tribulations, but if you go through these trials and tribulations at that age, start failing, start making errors, start messing up here. Oh, you failed this business here. Oh, you tried this, it failed. Oh, you did that, it failed. You went here you're building up your resume you're building up your life resume literally you're experiencing this oh i experienced how to fail i experienced how to come back i went through a depression I, I learned how to build my body i learned how to do this you're building your life resume bro instead of being 22 23 then starting to fear oh let me try oh, let me. it's it's still good that you're trying it's still great and better than ever you know what i mean better late than never but, but if you're starting at that late that um early age it's so much better because you already experienced it. You know what it is. And it's just, it's just really good, man. So that's my advice to anyone that's 17, 18, 19. Find what you like to do. Find something. And remember that just because you pick something now doesn't mean that's going to be your life mission or journey. Or your mission can change at any time. Your goal can change at any time. But if you're really focused on and stuck on something right now, choose that as your first thing. Because guess what? Say say that you, you're... I don't know. Let's just use the gym, for example. Say you think you want to be a, a fitness guy, whatever. Literally try doing the thing. If it doesn't work out, try something else. But you will never know if it if it'll work or not if you don't do it. Don't want to be sitting there. Oh, I'm going to try it now. Oh, maybe next year. Oh, maybe. No, dude, try it now. Because the, fa the faster you fail at that thing that you wanted to do, the faster you realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't move this. You'll understand like, oh, I should pivot here. Or what if I try this? What if I you're going to be able to bounce back and try all these different things. And eventually you're going to land, bro. It's like throwing a dart at a board. You might miss 50 times, but eventually you're going to hit the, you're going to hit the target. And all you need is that one time to hit the target. Once you hit that target, that's it that's all you needed the other failures don't matter all those other failures all those things that you failed at just helped you now when you're in this position to finally receive success to finally receive these blessings that you're going to be getting because you're not going to be worried about the failures oh i failed 50 times i don't care i just needed that one shot you know what i mean i literally just needed that one shot it doesn't matter if i failed 100 times it doesn't matter if i failed 200 times it doesn't matter because once you make it that one that one time that's all you needed and the faster you get to that point, the faster you'll you'll see how great your life can be rather than sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting forever. Waiting for what? You're waiting. You're basically waiting on yourself to make the move. You're waiting on yourself, bro. You're holding yourself back. You don't want to hold yourself back. Full throttle, go it. The same way you spend, the same way I spent 16 hours on video games, I could have been spending 16 hours doing something else. It, it didn't even have to be on my, my journey, but it would have been maybe experiencing more life, maybe doing something, bro, learning more lessons, right? That's the one thing you could do. So my advice to you guys is, I'm not saying, oh, just be cooped up all day and work, but hey, if you find joy in that, do that. Don't not do that, you know what I mean? If you find something and you're like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm learning this, I'm doing that, I'm implementing this, I'm implementing that, do that, literally do that. 
fuck hanging out stop don't even no bro if you find if you say this is what i'm gonna do and this is going hard go hard bro don't go hard on that thing go hard on that thing but if you're someone that's still trying to figure out oh, i don't know this and that that's fine bro you're only 18 17 you're not supposed to have your whole life figured out but what i can say is that don't waste your life online playing video games i'm not saying you can never play games i'm not saying but what i am saying is that you should be experiencing more life outside in the real world than being cooped up in your house online all day playing video games that's what i wish i did when i was that age instead of wasting all my time literally on the game bro i was on the game i was on I was literally staring at a screen more than I was experiencing life outside. That's how bad it was. And some of you are in that same position right now. So I'm telling you right now, if you're a introvert loser, like how I was, I'm not saying just cause you're introvert, you're a loser. I'm just saying, if you're a shy cooped up, you know what I'm saying? Afraid to talk to people, all this stuff. You gotta force yourself to get out of that. You gotta go experience life because I'm telling you, bro, I'm still an introvert at heart. I love being alone still to this day. I do everything alone. I like going out to eat, movies, whatever. I can do anything alone, bro. I love it. But at the same time, now that I've developed skills to actually speak to people, connect to people, it's fun, bro. It'll be out in public. You'll be just a magnet. I made that video, how to be, uh, what was it? How to attract anyone to you, um, how to become magnetic. That's what it was. It literally, like, I'm still introverted at heart, but guys, I'm outside when I'm in the real world. I wouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people are drawn to me and it's just fun. Chop it up. You make connections. You do this. You experience things. It's just you got to work on that skill. Literally talking to people is a skill, guys. It is. I had zero skill. I had negative skill. I was a literal loser, bro. So it's just like you got to develop these things, develop talking to people and just fail. Literally fail, try things and fail. Anyways, that's it for this video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I really want to get this, wanted to get this off because anyone who's 17, 18, 19, even you're going to do that, bro. Like I said, it's cool. I'm not saying you can't play games. I'm not saying you can't have fun in that way. But what I am saying is if you have this deep feeling or you have some sort of feeling that, oh, I want to try this, try it. Oh, I want to try doing that. Try doing that literally try doing that what are you gonna what are you gonna miss what are you gonna mess up at you're 16 bro you're 17 you can fail a million times that's what i wish i did i wish i failed a million times i didn't even get that experience i have to fail now a million times to figure out what i'm doing you know what i mean i had to start failing at 21 22 is when i really started and i kept failing on this failing on that i tried to do a clothing business failed horribly drop shipping failed horribly and i did all this stuff late you know what i'm saying if i had done that before Maybe things would have been different, of course, but it's just getting those reps. Now, I have to get these reps in, you know what I'm saying? But if you start early now, you'll already have the reps, and eventually you're going to get to that whatever you're doing faster. You're going to get to that goal faster. You're going to get to that life faster, and you're going to get to that mentality. Everything's going to be better, quicker. It's just going to be better, bro. It is what it is. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one.